Torque Robotics and Caterpillar uh, teamed up and developed this controller exclusively for the D-Series, skid steers, MTLs, and CTLs. We're introducing it now. It's available for sale starting January. Uh, this is a prototype that you're looking at here. It is uh, basically production intent. And literally we are um, mimicking the controls in the machine. So all functions inside the machine can be replicated with this device with the exception of the radio, <coughs> air conditioner, and lights. The kit uh, includes this uh, remote enable interface bracket. It's a complicated name for telling you if you pull the key out of the inside of the machine, put it in this key slot, it's a caterpillar key, turn it to the right, and then that tells the machine to go from manual to remote control mode. We have two emergency stop buttons that immediately will deactivate the system. <coughs> we have fail-safe communications uh, between the transmitter and the receiver. So we advertise a thousand feet range, 300 meters, but in reality, you know, the machine keeps going. Uh, but once you do lose the signal with the transmitter, the machine stops immediately disables. We have a uh, tilt sensor in the device so if I would drop, if I strap brakes to drop the controller or I fall down, trip and fall down, beyond 45 degrees it will de deactivate the system. Shut it down. All of the indicators that we have on here are the same indicators inside the machine. So we have, you know, when I turn this thing on, you know, you see, uh, this is uh, different haptic levels of haptic alerts, right? Yeah. Right, and then if the, you know, coolant temperature, hydraulic temperature, uh, you have the indicator, you also have an audible alert. Mm -hmm. Well, the guy's wearing headsets or, you know, listen to iTunes, he's watching the machine, we have a vibration motor. We hear an electric fuel priming pump starting. Before the engine starts, you see a green light up, up above. That's a communication status light. So that tells us we have a signal between the devices. And then, as soon as we start the machine, do that uh, because we have an electronic governor on our engine. And then an exclusive feature that we have here that's not even on the machine is variable hydraulic flow control, proportional dial here. If you're really wanting to tune in the performance of your work tool. Or if you have this MP bucket, grapple bucket, uh, you can control the speed that <coughs> bucket opens and closes.